We have some breaking news this afternoon, everyone. AFL 23 has been delayed by three weeks. And no, this is not a late April Fool's joke. This is just exactly what's happened a minute moments ago. I saw this pop up on my Twitter feed, uh, a released statement from the AFL saying, physical stock of one of the AFL 23 console platforms has not arrived in Australia. Whether that means PlayStation hasn't arrived, Xbox hasn't arrived, regardless, one of them hasn't arrived. Uh, to provide equity and fairness between all purchases, regretfully, the release of AFL 23 will be postponed until the 4th of May 2023, which is three weeks further than the original release date of the 13th of April. Um, and this is just <laughs> terrible news, of course, for everyone who was really keen to see this game in action. Uh, the good side of that is, you know, there's a possible number of positives that will come from this. I mean, to me, the statement doesn't make a heap of sense, but like, I guess you can't release it digitally because there'll be all kinds of rules with retailers and you can't release on one platform uh, and not another platform because there's no like exclusivity agreement. So there's a lot of possible legal issues if you do still release a game on just the one platform um, and even just digitally. So that's where we're at with AFL 23. It's going to be delayed by three weeks, um, which was a damn shame, I'm sure, for everyone who was keen to play it. Uh, literally one week from today. It would have been out this time next week, next Thursday. Um, so we're, we're in a sort of a limbo space now over the next couple of weeks. It does mean, though, that, you know, from a positive point of view, if, if you have to look at the positives in this sort of a situation, is that we're probably going to be getting... Um, you know, a more polished version. It'll be three weeks later than what it originally will come out. So there might be some more updates to that. Uh, and also the ultimate team or star team, uh, that, that version, it could be in with, uh, you know, it could time and line up perfectly with the actual release of the game now. So that there's an extra three weeks, maybe they get all of their uh, legal things and licensing and uh, players in there for that legends mode or the ultimate team mode whatever it's called um and that you'll be able to play that on day one once the game does now launch on the 4th of may um as i said not an april fool's joke a week late which is strange um i'm just checking again on twitter if there's anything else um news related to this ross says uh, obviously there's platform rules around not releasing it at digital stores ross has also gone on to say on big end if anyone does get stock of the platform that is currently in Australia, which is either PlayStation or Xbox, we don't know, um, the game will not work until the release date. So there's got to be some sort of DRM on it in that case. Um, so even if you do manage to get your hand on a copy early, you might not be able to play it. It might not boot up, it might not load, and you'll be absolutely stuck with just a nice little brick and uh, what's the word? paperweight of an AFL 23 disc. So this is obviously devastating news. AFL 23 delayed by three weeks. There we go. That's that's all the news for today. Sorry about that. Sorry I had to deliver that terrible news to you all. Uh, Roaming Brian will be out and about trying to understand what's going on. And uh, if I get any other news, I'll bring it to you. But that's it. AFL 23 delayed. Sorry. Bye.